Hey everybody, Peach here with episode five of the Omega Arms series. Now let's do a quick recap. So episode one was the overview. Episode two was the DIY tutorial. Episode three was the leg press and episode four was the pendulum squat. Well today with episode five, we are gonna focus on the inverted leg press, which happens to be so far my favorite of all the Omega Arms leg exercises. Now let me take you through the step-by-step -step tutorial of how to set up the Omega Arms for doing the inverted leg press. But before I do, quick disclaimer, the initial setup will take about two to three minutes. However, each subsequent time will only take about 15 to 20 seconds. Why? Because as I'll show you at the end of the video, the unit folds up and folds down, allowing you to fold it up and freely use your rack to do bench, squat, whatever else you want to do. And then when you want to use the inverted leg press, you simply fold it down. More on that at the end of the video. Okay, let's get started. All right, step one. Now we're going to take the brackets that we built back in episode two, and we're going to add them to our rack in the rear at the lowest setting. All right, now we're gonna take that 60 inch long, three quarter inch nipple, and we're gonna run it through the brackets. All right, step three. Now we're gonna add the Omega Arms to the 60 inch nipple. Be sure that the side with three floor flanges is pointing upward, and the end with a floor flange is pointing outward. All right, step four. Now we're gonna take those three quarter inch nipple caps and add them to the 60 inch nipple. All right, step number five. We are gonna take two 24 inch long, three quarter inch nipples with caps and we're gonna put them on the underside of the Omega Arms. All right, step number six. Now we are gonna take the foot plate that we built back in episode two and we're gonna add it into the mix. To do so, we are gonna put it so that the anti-slip tape is pointed towards the floor and the floor flange is pointed upward, closest to you. And we're also gonna be running three foot, three quarter inch nipples through all those layers. All right, next step. Now we are gonna take a three foot long toe strap and we're gonna add it to the nipples right here. All right, step number eight. Now I'm gonna take four three quarter inch nipple caps and I'm gonna put it on both ends of both three foot nipples. All right, next step. Now I'm gonna take that same slip hook with the soft loop tie down strap that we used back in the pendulum squat video and I'm gonna add it to my pull up bar. All right, now we are gonna connect the toe strap to the slip hook. And to do so, we need a strap or chain. However, in my opinion, chain is too noisy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three soft loop tie down straps and just daisy chain them together. So. What that looks like is just stick one through the loop, pull, and do the same thing. Stick it through the loop, feed it through itself, and pull. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing and hitch this to the toe strap, and then just hook this loop to the slip hook. All right, next step. Now we're gonna take two three quarter inch nipples that are six inches long, and we are gonna add them to the ends of the Omega arms. All right, last step. Now we are gonna take a 12 inch long three quarter inch nipple, and we are gonna add this to the foot plates floor flange. Now to protect your weights from getting scratched by the surface of the floor flange, 
I also recommend using a plastic lid. So I just cut a hole in this, put some duct tape on it to reinforce it, and it just slides right over that floor flange. Okay, next we're gonna take an Olympic plate adapter, and I also showed you how to make this back in episode two, cut to size. Then we take our three quarter inch nipple, and we are done. Now we just load plates and get to exercising. Now to stow away your Omega arms, all you have to do is take a few things off and fold it up. And this will allow you to continue using your rack for other exercises such as squats or bench or whatever you're doing. Okay, let me show you how that works. So all I gotta do is take off the loading pin. Okay, set that aside. Now lift up, okay, and now we take off the stopper arms. Now to prevent the unit from falling forward, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can take these three foot nipples, slide them all over to one side, and then we just slide this over. And now those nipples are resting against the rack and it can't fall forward. Then we're going to take our strap and we're going to tie it off to the rack. Voila. It ain't going any further back than this and it can't fall forward any further than that. All right, now that we have the unit in storage mode, I can bench, I can squat, I can do whatever else I want to do in my rack. However, when I do want to use the inverted leg press again, I simply add the two legs, fold it down, and put the loading pin on. It's that simple. So one bonus of this configuration is all the other exercises that you can do from this setup. So it's leg day anyway, right? So let me grab my calf block and let me do some calf raises. All right, so that does it for this episode. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode of the Omega Arms series. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next episode drops.